you know, they've got the horses to be able to get it done. Have they got the depth? That's the question mark. There's Goldie. Oh, nice start to the game. Clock works to 10. Yes, a long way back the other. Good screen from Ogilvy. Can't finish it. Active hands. Well done, Simon. Keeping it alive with the offensive rebound. Gets two draws of foul. It's those hustle plays. It's what he does on the defensive end. And this time on the glass and just a little bit of contact with McCarran. So this is good. Three-point lead for Melbourne. Last play. Simon on the buzzer. Knocks down the two. Melbourne will take the one point in the NBL Cup. <laughs> McCarran to keep it alive, but only as far as Froling. Harvey drew the D out, left it to Ogilvy for the finishing touches. Well, you have to. You've got to pick your poison. So you'd rather concede two than three. Bubba makes that assignment a little bit easier because he is developing into one of the elite defenders in the competition. Oh, right. Against the elite, the shooter <laughs> in Harvey. This is just outrageously deep. Good three metres behind, and it was contested. <laughs> That's the most for Melbourne United. Here's Landale working on Bearstow. Thought he was fouled. Just didn't see it that way. Came back to short. And he gets to the... Adds two draws a foul. And you saw Shay Ely going in there, banging with the big fellas. A little bobbles out. Peatling cops around. Walks led by five in the opening quarter. The while the jaw, they gave him some room. Stand by, he'll jump up and throw it down on you. Nice screen. Jessup, now McCarran. He's got six on the shot clock. Tough finish from Mitch McCarran. A little bit more difficult, but when Sam Frolin can do that, just catch it and dribble to him spot, use his size for those little hook shots, that's tough to beat. Harvey drew plenty of attention and gets the shooter's roll, knocks down the three. Can't yep. blame Indiana faithful today. You know, I, I felt for Indy the other day. <laughs> game the best off. name in basketball. Yep. Oh, Lander just throws it down with a quick reaction, and all of a sudden, Melbourne have a double figure lead. Behind the back, throws it out to McDaniel, who's deep with the three. Harvey has it in traffic. Almost lost control. Spinning, arguing his way coast to coast. How about that from Tyler Harvey? The thing about this is look at the ball control, the way he stayed composed. Yeah, the spin was elite. And the finish was nice, but the way in which he was able to control the ball after it come off the heel. Well, that's hard with the Illawarra Hawks, the way they're playing. They're really settling for the half quarters. Ding, ding, with a step back, tough finish. It's in terms of those stats and other areas when his shot isn't working. None of five from the field. Four rebounds, though. Here's Harvey exploring. Fairstow stops, pops, connects on another two. It's McCarran and Golding. Froling rolls to the hoop. Couldn't finish it from close range. Here's a chance for United. McCarran, Landale to his left, gets it next, throws it down. Great pass. And this is one of the counters for that. If you're getting bogged down, he's trying to get out. They got a nice bounce off a layup you'd normally expect him to make. I don't reckon it'd be that many through the entire game. But he doesn't get enough second touches. Harvey. The McDaniel oh, left him and five. pays the penalty as he knocks down the three ball. Harvey here, forget about all the X's now, a little screen. Shaili just goes flying. Well, stripped off it, active hands, Luala, Chul McCarran for the three. Kept it alive, well done, Golding, but it spills to Harvey and up the floor quickly. Finishing touches from Bairstow and it's all over. Down by double figures in the third. And he's a happy man in game number 750. Brian Gorgian has orchestrated a big win for his team.